my hands down favorite Suray anamorphic lens ever. Suray Saturn 35mm T2.9 1.6x anamorphic is much, and when I say much, I mean it much smaller and lighter than its predecessor Venus 35mm. But optically it's the same lens, same sharpness, same distortion, same 10 bladed aperture, same minimum focusing distance, same blue flares, but the Saturn has also a neutral flare option which is a lot more interesting in my opinion. But unfortunately I was not able to get my hands on this version of this lens. So if you want to get into the nerdy stuff about this lens, watch my previous 35mm full frame anamorphic lens review. But of course, after this video. Why is this lens so attracting? To me, the images that you get of the Suray Saturn 35mm have some vibe, volume, character, and I really enjoyed pairing it with a mist filter and emulating film with the Hanser Pro on top. The results are so pleasing. Oh yeah, and this lens has a constant squeeze ratio. Nice. The horizontal field of view is 22mm in full frame equivalent, which makes you think more about composition and framing, and it's appropriate to shoot any scenario from landscape to architecture to people. Two factors that you have to be aware of is that it has a very noticeable pincushion distortion, I do like it, but some people would prefer to fix it in post. And the second is not the best minimum focusing distance, so keeping a set of diopters in your kit is necessary. And with diopters it's much easier to get shallow depth of field and to see the oval bokeh. The flares are subtle and that's an important factor to me, because early Suray anamorphic lenses tend to have very pronounced and too saturated lens flares. And they were overwhelming, whereas on the Suray Saturn, especially on the neutral color flare option, these are so gentle, soft and not overdone. Great job Suray! Hit the like button if you also do prefer more subtle and less saturated anamorphic flares. The size and weight of the Suray Saturn lens makes me want to take it with me anywhere I go and makes shooting experience a lot easier both for handheld scenarios and especially for using a gimbal. And also I love the carbon fiber introduction, looks fresh and it's very robust too. By the way, this lens has a DL mount option for DJ Ronin 4D camera. That's how light it is. I really hope that Suray will be able to release at least a 50mm full frame lens of a similar size and weight and with a neutral flare as well. One more advantage of this lens over the competition is its price. It's $1300 compared to Suray's own Suray Venus 35mm for $1500. So there is absolutely zero point in purchasing a bigger, bulkier and more expensive lens, in my opinion. And also we have a Great Joy lens 35mm T2.9 1.8x anamorphic for 1700 British pounds. Ouch! And it's also huge. And I'm not even talking about Cook anamorphics or some lenses of that caliber. So if you are looking for the first anamorphic lens to start your journey with and the budget is a bit tight, but also you don't want to carry around a huge 1kg lens all the time, Suray Saturn is a perfect option to start with. Highly recommend trying this lens out yourself. Here is a playlist about anamorphic lenses where you can find a ton of reviews and cinematic videos from me. See you in the next video guys. Take care. Bye.